So first, I'm going to show you the beautiful original covers on these RV cushions. All of the upholstery in Honey was done in this lovely blue with a little pink velvety type fabric. The seat back is the one that has been kind of giving me pause to get started on this project. And that is because the one corner on this is rounded and covered in dog hair. Me, I didn't know how to go about covering this without making a mess of it. And with vinyl, you can't um, make a mistake because the needles going in and out of the vinyl leaves a leaves holes. And if you stitch it wrong, it, it's not something you can just tear out and redo. Like with regular fabric, you have holes that show that you made a mistake. <laughs> I am not going to do any sewing. I'm going to basically do these the same way that I did the, um, the sofa cushions for Honey. And I'll leave a link right here for that. Basically just wrapping the cushions with plywood on the back. It doesn't need to be super strong. I just need something that I can wrap the fabric around and staple it into the, fa the plywood on the back. So I'm heading down to Home Depot, but first I'm going to take some measurements to see what size I need them to cut. So 11 inches would take it so that it would be about an inch in from either either end of the of the edge of the foam and that will leave it so it's still squishy on the corners and because this part of the seat actually squishes in to a, a formed um, frame I guess at the back so so it's 11 inches and then the length comes to 31 inches, so I'm going to make that 29 inches. So 11 inches by 29 inches is the measurement that I need for the backs. So 30, say 31 inches, and make it 29, and then the width is 22 inches, so I'm going to make it 20 inches. So 29 by 20 inches, and I will get them to cut two pieces of each size, and that should be good. see here I need to round off the corner here but I don't, I'm not actually going to round it I think I'm just going to cut it straight across there so I'm going to mark it and cut it okay you can see I've drawn a line there and that's where I'm going to cut okay there it is just trimmed off the corner and now it's the basic shape of the cushion Okay, I have the very thin plywood. You can see how, how thin it is. I think it's just under a quarter of an inch, I think. So I have my staple gun filled up with quarter inch um, staples. And I'm gonna start by going into the middle of both of the long sides and tacking them in place. Now it's being anchored on this side. Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. We'll just keep on going around and anchoring its sides. Okay, so I've got it 
basically tacked on here. And now I'm going to start adding some more staples along the edges um, because that's not enough to hold it in place forever. looking. This is the, the rounded corner here, which I'm going to now start to shape. So what I'm going to use is my hair dryer. It will soften up the vinyl so it's more pliable and will go around the corners um, smoother. And yeah, so lose the slippers. makes a huge difference in how pliable this stuff is. It's amazing. So now I'm going to fold little folds and pull them tight around the corner. So I've made a little fold, just a little one, and I'm creasing it with my fingers. And I'm just going to fold it over and then pull it tight so it lays down and then staple that. And then I'll make another little fold. Crease it with my fingers and pull that tight. And so on around the corner. I'm trying to make them as even as possible. in there. I think this is going to be the last fold. Tight. And we'll take a look to see how that looks from the front. So that didn't turn out too badly. Okay, so this is what the cushion now looks like that I've got it all stapled down here. You can see there's a big bunch, but we're going to actually cut this off so it's not a big bunch of vinyl on the back there. But it doesn't look too badly. I'm actually quite pleased with how it turns out. Let me turn this all the way around here so you can actually see what it's going to look like from the top side or from the front side. So that is what the corner looks like. And this part here is pretty much going to be covered up by what's what the, the back of the seat tucks into in the RV. So I don't think I don't even know if you'll see these folds in there. Anyway, so I'm going to now um, deal with the other corners and then we'll start trimming off the excess. This is how I'm going to do the corners. You can see I've drawn a line and this is basically just to, to show you how I'm going to bring these two corners together on this line. It'll basically line up like that and I'm going to staple them underneath so that they meet and fold at this corner. So I'll do that first and then I'll show you what I'm going to do.
So you can see I've stapled this right along the line here, and I'm going to do the same with the other side. Okay, so we have this joined corner here. I'm going to take this and put that straight up. So I want to cut right along above where the staples bring the two corners together, or the two edges together, and leave this part here long. So I'm basically going to be scooping out and coming up and around on this flap. So I'm cutting right right close to the to the staples. You see I've gone quite close there. And then I'm going to go further along and up. So I've taken off this hunk, which has gotten rid of some of the bulk. And then I'm going to flatten this out and pull it back over the corner here. It'll make two neat little folds on each side here and cover up the corner. So I don't need all of this here, so I'm going to cut that off. Just gets rid of some of the bulk because vinyl is kind of a bulky fabric. So I'm going to pull this side, side tight, staple that down, pull this side tight, staple it down, and then draw this back and staple in the ends. I have two corners done and one more to do so we'll do that one again bringing in these two corners to meet at a 45 degree angle And I'm going to cut this again, nice and close, and then up. Open it up. And I'm going to cut off the excess here. I'm pulling each side tight to keep this this kind of this uh, fold here flat. I just wanted to try and keep the bulk out of here. So this has got quite a bit of 
excess here, but I'm not really worried about it because you don't see this. This is the corner from the rounded corner. I'm just trimming off the extra stuff here. And I'll staple that down again. Now, if you wanted this to look all pretty, um, you could actually cut out a piece of fabric to cover up all the way around here and staple that down, you know, fold in the edges and staple it down. But I don't really care because it's behind the, the seat and you're never going to see it. So this is... What it looks like here is the rounded corner with our little folds and then the, the corners that have a couple of folds each and that's the first back seat for the dinette done yay next so now i'm working on the base cushions, the seat cushions, and I'm cutting out the vinyl, this is the back of the vinyl, to wrap around the base cushions. And to do that, I am just, if you're having um, questions about how to cut out the, the vinyl, I, what I do is I measure how much I need to wrap around and then measure that out from where the cushion sits on the vinyl out that far and I just make marks. So in this case I need to go to this number 15 mark and I just do that all the way along making marks and then I join them And I have myself a line to cut. Now you see if I fold it up, there's lots of overhang there. So now we can start stapling this on. Okay, and again, we're just going to staple the one side on first. You want it to be, to, to pull it, but not, it doesn't have to be pulled tight. You, you're anchoring it on this side. Oh, I'm out of staples. And this side I can pull because the back side here is anchored down. So now I can actually pull this tight. And staple it every few inches. Again, staying about two or three inches away from the corner. And then pull between the staples. And staple. And that's good enough for now. We're going to spin it around again do the side that we anchored and we're going to staple I stapled at the back here but I'm going to staple up closer to the edge of the plywood this time but I'm pulling from between the ank the anchoring ones and I'm going to staple so you can see this is puffy because I'm now able to put some tension on it and it's taking up less of the fabric And that is snow Zoe snoring in the background there. <laughs> hey Zoe, were you snoring? This is another member of the support staff. This is Oliver. 
He's 14 and just a big fluffy teddy bear. Hey, Oliver. Yeah. This is Fred. Hey, Fred. Hey, Fred. Okay, back to work. So now I'm going to do the ends and to get those pulled in. Okay, so we're pulling in the ends and we can pull them tight because the fabric isn't going to move now that we've got the two long ends anchored down. And then again, between the staples, a couple of three inches on each end. I can go a little closer on this side so that we can do the corners. Do the other side. So there is the finished seat cushion. There it is, all done.